using a or an in sentences a is used in front of singular count nouns such as a book a desk etc an is used in front of words that begin with a vowel like a e i o and u these are the vowels in english such as an airplane here we find this word airplane starts with a an idea and in this word we can find i begins the word an umbrella and there is also a vowel in this word and it begins the word so we have to put an instead of a also use an if a word that begins with u and it has a vowel sound like an uncle there are also exceptions use a if a word that begins with u but it has a sound like u such as in university so the word here begins with u it's a vowel but it has the sound just like u and then we have to choose a instead of n there is another exception you can see here use n if a word that begins with h and this h is not pronounced such as in the word like hour this word begins with h but this h is silent as if the word begins with o so we have to put n before hour an hour an honor in these words h is silent and we have to put n before them another example use a if a word that begins with h and h is pronounced then you have to put a before them a horse a hospital in these words h is pronounced and we have to put a complete these sentences with a or n activity 2 complete the sentences with a or n number 1 the man is holding there is a blank and we have to decide according to this word because this word begins with ew but it has a vowel sound like a ah. the man ha is holding an umbrella so we have to put here an umbrella sentence number two there is after the blank we see bag and this word begins with a consonant so we have to put a there is a bag under the table sentence number three we saw elephant in the jungle this word begins with a vowel e and this is not according to any exception so we have to put n sentence number four he is eating orange the word begins with vowel o so we have to put n an orange sentence number five i have good idea so good idea and the word begins with g we have to put a but if we say just i have idea so then we have to put an idea because the word begins with a vowel an idea sentence number six he has an idea because the word begins with I sentence number seven Ali is honest worker in this word honest this H is silent so we think that the word begins with O and we have to put as it is a silent H we have to put N Ali is an honest worker number eight it takes hour to finish the test again this H is silent as if the word begins with O and we have to put here N 9 he is university student here you gives the sound just like you and it will be a university student number 10 horse has a long nose and this H is pronounced and we have to put here a as it is 
the beginning word and it should be capital a horse has a long nose using some in sentences some is used in front of plural count nouns such as books and book is a counting countable noun or we can count the noun like one book two books three books so you can put some before this noun some books some pens also pen is a count countable noun so we can put some before pens some is used in front of non count nouns this is very important we have to consider this noun like water rice money we cannot count them so some can be used before them also some water some rice some money etc some is used in affirmative statements and in questions such as statement ahmed has some money money here is in non count nouns and we put some before money another statement ahmed has some friends and in this statement we can find friend is a countable noun we can count the number of friends so some friends we can use some before such kind of nouns now question do you have some money here some some money money is a non count noun and we have used some before money another question does he have some friends in this word we can find friends is a countable noun and some is used before friends so we can find that some is used in affirmative statements and in questions completing sentences with a or an or some activity 3 complete the sentences with a or an or some sentence number 1 the man is holding umbrellas here we find this number here we find this noun is a plural noun so we have to put here some because it is a plural number and according to the rule we can use some before a countable noun there is bag under the table the sentence begins with there is and it identifies that the noun should be singular bag so it is a consonant the word begins consonant here and we have to put a there is a bag under the table number 3 we saw elephants in the jungle and we can find that main word elephant is a plural number here elephants and we have to put here some elephants number 4 he is eating orange and orange here is a countable noun but it is singular we have to put an as the word begins with o the vowel o begins the word number 5 he has idea an idea begins with i and it is a vowel so we have to put n he has an idea number 6 does she have homework and homework is a non count noun so we have to put here some because some can be used before countable and non count nouns 7 Ali is honest worker and h is here it is not pronounced so we have to put n h it takes hour to finish the test it takes an hour as h is not pronounced number 9 they met university students so university and here is students we can find this students is a plural number and we have to put some before countable plural numbers so here we have to write they made they met some university students but if it is a singular noun university student then we have to put a a university student number 10 do you need help so help is a non count noun and we have to put some bef 